Hi, and welcome to the tutorial video for Prelab 3 for SAS 250. In this tutorial video, we're going to be walking through a try it example from the lecture notes on, from the chapter on random variables. We're going to be working through this try it called finding binomial probabilities. So the problem reads, recall that we have a random sample of n equals 10 online shoppers from a large population of such shoppers, and that p equals 0.25 is the population proportion who actually make a purchase. The first part of the problem is what is the appropriate distribution for x, the number of online shoppers in the random sample that actually make a purchase. So x is the number of online shoppers out of 10 in the random sample that actually make a purchase. So you can make a purchase or you can not make a purchase. So x is distributed as a binomial random variable. And when we write a binomial random variable, we need two things to identify that distribution. So we're going to say x has a binomial distribution. And the first thing that we need to identify the distribution is n, the number of trials. So here that's 10. We also need the, po or the success probability. So here a success is making an online purchase. So the probability of that happening is 0.25. So this is the distribution of x. Let's see what this distribution looks like. So I'm going to open up R and our commander. So remember to open our commander, we want to type into the R console library, open parenthesis, capital R, CMDR, and hit enter. OK, so now I have our commander open. And we want to make a stick graph of this binomial distribution. So to do that, we're going to come up to distributions discrete distributions, the binomial distribution, and then come down to plot binomial distribution. So we'll click that. The number of binomial trials is n. Here that's 10. And the probability of success is p, which is 0 0.25. We want to make sure to plot the probability mass function. This is what's going to give us a stick graph. And we can click OK. And now on Windows, the stick graph will open in your original R window, but on a Mac, it may open in a different window that would be called X quartz. So you can see I now have a stick graph labeled for the binomial distribution with n equals 10 and p equals 0.25. And it's plotted now from 0 to 7 successes. The reason it's left off 8, 9, and 10 is because the numbers are too small to plot. So it's essentially 0. So we're going to keep an eye on this stick graph for a bit um, throughout the problem. So let's go back to the problem. And now question B asks, what's the probability of selecting exactly two shoppers who actually make a purchase? So if x is the number of online shoppers in the random sample who make a purchase, this event of selecting exactly two shoppers who make a purchase is x equals 2 and we want the probability that x equals 2. So we can go back to our commander, and we can get these binomial probabilities by again coming up to distributions, discrete distributions, binomial distribution, binomial probabilities. So let's click that. Again, the number of binomial trials is 10, and the probability of success is 0 0.25. We'll click OK. And now, down in the output window here, our commander has printed the probability of each outcome of the binomial random variable. So this is the probability that x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2, so on and so forth. We're looking for the probability that x equals 2, which is here. So we want to come up to our R markdown document here and add our answer here. So. I'm going to make a new line in the R Markdown document tab, type B, the space, and then say the probability that x equals 2 is 0 0.2816. So that's problem B. For problem C now, we want the probability of selecting at least one shopper who actually makes a purchase. At least one means greater than or equal to one. So we want here the probability that x 
is greater than or equal to 1. So to get this, we can come back to our commander, and now we could add up all of these probabilities, 1, 2, plus 2, plus 3, so on and so forth, all the way through to 10. That's going to take a long time. That's a hassle. So instead, we can recognize that this event has a complement. Complement of x is greater than or equal to 1 is that x equals 0. And remember, the complement rule for probability says that this probability is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of its complement. So this is going to be 1 minus the probability that x equals 0. Now we can use our commander as a calculator. Back in the R script tab, we, on a new line, we can now type 1 minus the probability that x is 0. I'm just going to copy and paste this up here. So we have this line of code here, and we're just going to click Submit. And now on a new line, we get this answer. So we can see that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1 is 0 0.9437. So let's add that to our, our Markdown document. So we'll type C, the probability that at least one shopper makes a purchase is 1 minus the probability that x is 0, which is equal to 0 0.9437. Now there's another way that you can do this. You can have our commander do this automatically. So to do that, come up to distributions, discrete, binomial, now choose binomial tail probabilities. A tail probability here, it's referring to a probability of being greater than or less than a certain number, not greater than or equal to, notice. So the variable that we want to be greater than, strictly greater than, the value is zero. If you're greater than or equal to 1, that means you're greater than 0. Again, we have 10 binomial trials, and the probability of success is 0 0.25. And we want to select the upper tail. The upper tail is going to refer to the greater than part. We'll click OK. And now our commander has printed a line of code for us and has given us exactly the same answer that we computed by hand. So that's problem C. Now for problem D, we want to know how many shoppers in our random sample of 10 we would expect to actually make a purchase. So this is talking about the expected value of x written e of x. This is the mean of the binomial random variable. So let's go back to our stick plot here and kind of guess where the mean is. So take a look at this graph and take a guess at where you think the mean value of this binomial random variable is going to be. So my guess for where the mean is going to be is that it's somewhere between 2 and 3. Notice that there's a lot, there's a high peak here between 2 and 3, but there's a little more at 3 than there is at 1. So that's going to pull the mean a little bit away from 2. So it's prob my guess is it's going to be between 2 and 3. And it turns out that for a binomial random variable, the expected value of x is written as n times p. So we can go back into our commander, and we can have R do some math for us again. So we're going to come back to the script tab, and we're going to type n times p. So 10 for n, an asterisk for times p, which is 0 0.25. And again, we're going to click Submit. And the expected value, the mean of this distribution, is 2.5 online shoppers. So in our, our markdown document, we'll come back I'm going to make a new or an answer for D, and I'm going to say we would expect 2.5 online shoppers to make a purchase out of this random sample of 10 online shoppers. Now I'll come to the top and add a title for this prelab. So this is prelab 3. Add your name and come up to File, save our Markdown file as, I'm going to open my Stats250 folder. So now I'm in my Stats250 folder, and I'm just going to 
click a folder that I've made for Prelab 3 and save this as prelab3.rmd. Click Save and then Generate Report. Okay, and now in a web browser, you can see this nice HTML document has opened with our plot, the code, our probabilities, and the answers to our questions here. So as a reminder, this HTML file is what you're going to upload to Canvas. So go ahead and do that, and that is Prelab 3 for you. We're looking forward to seeing you in lab this week.